Today we are going to be looking at heart to heart with the Father. Heart to heart with uh, the Father. And uh, whether you're here in person or you're joining us through Zoom, uh, we want you to know that our Heavenly Father, He is God. Our Heavenly Father, He is with us. Our Heavenly Father, He has power over diseases, over demons, over difficulties, over all kinds of dilemmas. Our Heavenly Father, He has power over everything. Amen. And I want us this morning to be the lions that our God has made us to be. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are the lions of the kingdom of God. I want you to know that we are called to be courageous. We are called not to be afraid. We are called to rise up above the pain and the challenges. Amen. Just excuse me for a second. Let me uh, discuss something. Uh, Vicky, is it possible that we can have Facebook Live? You sure? <laughs> Maybe Ali can help you, help us. Allison? She can be right here. Or is it possible? If it's not possible, that's fine. We can do it right away. Yeah, I wonder what's all I said. Okay. <laughs> she can be Vicky, but she's Facebook. Okay. <laughs> I said Vicky. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's start the recording this morning. Want to appreciate want to appreciate every single person that is with us this morning want to thank God for giving us the opportunity to uh, worship to praise to celebrate our King Amen. and I believe that God has a word for you today I believe God is going to speak to you like never before you just need to have the heart and the ear to listen Amen. <laughs> so We've been challenged with the coronavirus. <laughs> but I want all of us to know one thing. That coronavirus is not Lord of your life. Amen. Amen. Coronavirus is not even the law of the earth. Amen. Amen. Coronavirus is a failure. Amen. Because this one too shall pass. Amen. The word of God says clearly that I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. Where does sickness come from? Where does disease come from? Where does coronavirus come from? From our fallenness, from a fallen world, from a, a fallen world. And I want us to know that Jesus came to restore us from a fallen world so that we can experience God in his newness. And that's some of what we're going to be talking today. Coronavirus is a failure. I decree victory over coronavirus in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Because what? The word of God says we shall prevail. We shall overcome. We shall be stronger than any kind of sickness or disease, including coronavirus. Because our God, by his stripes, we were healed. We were healed from any kind of sickness or any kind of disease, including coronavirus. So, coronavirus, you fail. Coronavirus, we've defeated you. Amen. Coronavirus, we are above you. Amen. Coronavirus, you are under our feet. I want us to know that we are victorious. Yes. So this morning, we're going to launch into the word of God this morning. We're going to be reading from John chapter 14. If you're stuck if you're with us from home, you can open your Bible to John 14. And uh, we're going to be talking about heart to heart with the Father, which is a continuation of the series we've been talking with, of this series that we've been looking at called Heart to Heart. I want to begin this morning by reminding us of something that we all do. It's not good or bad, it's just something we do. We chase. <laughs> we chase stuff. We chase. We chase uh, money. We chase uh, people. We chase things that will satisfy us and give us pleasure. pleasure. We were created by God to be chasers. We live our life chasing one thing or the other. We live our life following, running after something. The more 
moment you stop chasing, your life becomes boring. The moment you stop chasing something, your life, life is snuffed out. You feel depressed. You feel overwhelmed. You feel frustrated. We are chasers. God created us to be chasers. We chase through, li through life. Some take a flight in chasing. Some run, some walk. Some take a marathon. But in every way, we are chasers. We chase. So what are you chasing today in your life? You need to reflect, look into your life and ask you, are you chasing for something that will make you happy? Are you chasing for something that will give you security and comfort? Are you chasing for something that will try to bring some meaning and fulfillment in your life? What are you chasing today? And because we are human beings, homo sapiens, we chase three different dimensions of things. We chase things that are physical. And almost 99% uh, of people, they spend their life chasing something that is physical. Something that they can see, something that they can touch. They believe that when they chase and they have a million dollars in their account, they are fulfilled. They are satisfied. No, a million dollars will not satisfy you. They believe that when they chase and they find maybe a partner, a friend, somebody that is going to be able to satisfy their need, they feel like, okay, they've made it. They've, they've gotten there. But no, when you even get married, you still have to continue chasing for that marriage to bring life and joy into your life. Some people chase for a job, something physical. They people chase for a dream home. So the question this morning is, what are you chasing? And the sub-question is, what are you chasing? Is it a physical something? The danger for ch about chasing something physical is that anything physical you're going to be chasing, you're chasing, is temporary. Anything that you chase that is physical is not going to last. Amen. It's going to disappear one day. So, just common sense is that don't spend your life chasing something that's physical. Some people spend their life chasing something that is psychological, something that is mental, something that is emotional, something that satisfies their soul. And yeah, it's great to chase something. It's great to have aspirations in education and to, uh, to, to, to aspire to, to study as much as you can. But it also falls short. Why? Because you realize that anything that is just going to satisfy your mind and not meet the needs of your heart is still empty, is still fortunate, is still useless. Because at the end of the day, what is really going to satisfy you is if you chase the spiritual stuff. Amen. You are a body, a physical, so psychological.